a lot of you have enjoyed my crazy ideas for anti pandemic devices. I have been getting a bunch of emails from people who say, hey, Naomi, those are a lot of fun, but we really need more concrete stuff we can buy now. Tell us what they're using in Shenzhen. Of course, they're right. This is a serious threat we're facing, and we need real solutions, not just DIY experiments. Most offices here are doing thermal screening of all their employees whenever they enter and leave. Some are doing it manually with an infrared thermometer like this one. Some have automated systems. I looked at a few and asked my friends at Banggood to stock the best one I could find that was available in English. We are going to take a look at it today. So I can explain how it works and how you can implement it at your business or school or wherever. There is a user menu here, it's all in English. There are some screws and there is a uh, steel plate. I think it's for mounting the um, thermal uh, screening device. Okay, it says I'm I'm registered. It didn't recognize my face, but it shows my temperature is normal. Let's see what if I wear a mask, what will change? Please take your temperature away from the screen. The temperature is normal. Unregistered. Please take your temperature away from the screen. The temperature is normal. Unregistered. Okay, it recognized instantly of me wearing my mask. Before I didn't, it says Come on, wear your mask. You need to wear your mask. And then I wear it and it detects it. Okay, now I'm going to set it up to unlock a door. If I'm wearing a mask and my temperature is normal, let me show you how to do it. I've got a pretty normal door controller box here. I'm going to link something just like it in the description box. Body, 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 body
Okay, now we uh, need to log in. There is no password. We just log in, and it shows the live wheel of me. You see. Okay, there are some settings on top here. Let's go into smart configuration. You see, face detected, door access. So for this door access, we want to change the access mode from temperature and phase to temperature to mass and then we're going to save this setting there are other options that you can change there are a lot of other options in detailed and the English is understandable and you can see the lock uh, the data of your temperature, fever, down mass, you can see all the data in the identity record. So we're in play right now. If you you can select the day, the time, so that you could see who has entered your room or your office, local settings. So this will save to my local uh, drive, local disk, uh, or you can set up a server to uh, save all that data. And let's take a look at the um, thermal screening camera. See if the temperature is normal, no access. Please wear a mask. No access because I didn't put on my mask. Okay, now the door is locked. Let's try it again with the mask on and see if I can pass. The temperature is normal. Please pass. Okay, the door is unlocked because it says my temperature is normal and I'm wearing a mask. So it's pretty good. Final verdict. There is a bit of a lag. So if you are dealing with large crowds of people, I would still suggest a fur camera like the Unity I will build previously. But if you have a small store, restaurant, even a classroom and want to avoid face-to-face -face confrontation with people who might be running a fever or refusing to wear a mask, this is a good option. It can be used for access control to make sure only employees who have their face in the system can get in when wearing masks and normal temperature. But frankly, those sort of access control systems are usually tied into payroll systems and work better that way. I'd stick with just using this for mask and thermal screening with a good sturdy door. Okay, I know I'm doing a lot of pandemic stuff these days. I'm just trying to do my part and I hope you aren't getting bored with it. I honestly feel these measures help. And as a tech reviewer, the most responsible thing I can do is review the tech that I think will protect people in times like this. Thank you for understanding. That's it for today. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it. So this is my new puppy. She's a rescue husky. Her name is Momo. She doesn't like to be alone because she has been abandoned twice. So she usually just sit quietly at the corner. If you, if you hear any background noises, that's from Momo. I hope you don't mind it. You're going to see more of her in the upcoming videos. Momo, say goodbye. Okay, you want some? Yeah, I'm going to scratch you because you're being a good girl. Good girl.